Hey guys, Amp here bringing you another Affinity Designer tutorial, and in this tutorial we'll be going over how to use uh, new brushes. So uh, what you can do is come to the brush panel, uh, come to the drop down menu, and say new textured brush image. So you can use PNGs, like the one I have here, of smoke, to make new brushes to add texture uh, to the brushes that are already in Affinity Designer. Now, I already have it selected here, so we can uh, have any sort of texture you want. Just get a PNG of it. I just chose Smoke. It's easiest. And let's say we want to make a fake movie poster. So we're going to get the text tool and say... Uh, let's call it we'll call it awakening infinity I'll just center this Auto-correct the misspelling. And we can now sort of center in our text. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a different text. Um, just randomly get something good. Uh -huh. We'll go with Damascus. So we have our image here. We have our text. And let's make it white. Just make it really pop on the background. So we have our text here. And now we want to kind of brush over it in smoke. So I'm going to grab the brush, come over to brushes, grab my smoke brush. Um, and let's just see what we can make. So I just draw a couple smoke wisps. And say I wanted to make it a little more faded. I have some more down here. Some more up here. Maybe one on the side. Side there. So now we have sort of our cloud smoky effect around our text. And say we want to just drop the opacity. Um, actually, let's just bring it up a little bit. And so now we have a sort of smoky effect around our background. So you can have this as like sort of like a movie text poster or whatever. Um, and you can kind of really add texture to the background. You can add any sort of uh, PNG file as a brush. And you can come over here to the uh, editing panel. And you can make, say, the brushed width bigger or smaller. You can change size variance. Um, you can have it have an opacity variance, and you also can change how it does it. So you can have, I have it on repeat right now, so it's repeating the image. But you also can have it stretch, which is more like this. A sort of like weird curve that kind of stretches around. Um, it really depends on what you want for your brush. You could say like add dirt as a brush, so you can have a dirt brush. Um, sort of like paint dirt on things, a water brush that sort of paints water droplets on things. Um, and you also can have them overlap, fold, or pull on the corners. Um, and so you can duplicate the brush and make a new one. And sort of really edit your brush down to get what you want. Uh, so that is how you do a textured brush in uh, Affinity Designer. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo Tutorials. Thanks for watching.